always been fascinated by the Australian bush. Felt a strange affinity for this strange land. As a kid, my favourite outing was to the art gallery because there was always a dazzling array of styles and shapes and patterns and textures and colours. But it was the landscape paintings with their quiet poetry that were my favourites. As a young artist, I'd often clamber into pretty amazing places, carrying my paints and painting plain air. That taught me a lot about how to paint what you see in a realistic way. It wasn't until many years later that I had a profound moment of catharsis and I realised that it was the feeling of the place that I really wanted to paint and not just what it looked like. From then on, my paintings changed a lot. I had to let go of so many things that I'd learned and embrace risk and experimentation. Breaking free from the traditional square format of painting has allowed me to explore new forms, new shapes and textures that are directly inspired by the bush that I see around me every day. A lot of my paintings have subsequently taken on a sculptural kind of element. They involve carpentry as well as painting. Some of the larger works take well over a week to cut, prime and assemble before I even start painting. With each new design, I try to echo the natural curves and shapes that I see around me in the bush. Every day when I'm out walking the trails, I'm looking for new colours, new ideas, new textures, trying to find the essence of the subject. It's like looking for a little bit of magic. The finished paintings hanging in the studio become objects in their own right. They've got a life that's completely separate to the landscape that inspired them. The landscape is my inspiration, but the paintings are infused with my own feelings. Many of these paintings are actually internal landscapes as much as they are about this place. What I really love about landscape painting is that it really isn't about landscape at all. It's about a human understanding and depiction of their environment. Within every landscape painting, there's always a personal and a cultural element. And my job as an artist is to be true to each painting and to allow them to say what they have to say. There's so many ways that this bush continues to inspire me. The textures and the colours are just so intricate. I really don't want to copy them as such, but I use them to inspire what I do. Whether it's leaf formations, or the way that the light comes through the trees. Or it could be the intricate patterns made by insects on the bark of a tree.
After all of the painting, the finishing is always the hardest bit. It's so hard sometimes to know when the painting's finished, when it's done. But there's a moment. It can be quite satisfying, but then it's time to wash out the brushes. Pack it all away and go and do something else. There's always another exhibition to prepare for and it's time to head out and find a bit more magic.